The young adult fantasy novel Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was written by J.K. Rowling and published in 1998. It is the second book in the Harry Potter series. Rowling explores a variety of topics, including mortality, celebrity, friendship, choice, and discrimination, against the backdrop of this magnificent setting. After completing his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, young wizard Harry Potter spends the summer with his non-magical relatives, the Dursleys. Harry is 12 years old at the time. A wicked wizard by the name of Voldemort was responsible for the deaths of Harry's parents a little more than a decade ago. However, for some reason, Voldemort was unable to murder young Harry and instead went into hiding. The Dursleys loathe magic and are enraged when Harry receives a visit from a magical elf called Dobby, who advises Harry not to return to Hogwarts, spoiling their dinner party with some of Mr. Dursley's clients. A few days later, Harry's friends Ron, Fred, and George Weasley rescue him from the Dursleys in a flying automobile that their father had been working on as a side project. The remainder of Harry's summer vacation is spent with the Weasley family. As the summer draws to a close, Harry and the Weasleys accompany him on a trip to the book and supply store. Harry overhears Lucius Malfoy, the father of Draco Malfoy, his enemy at Hogwarts, pawning wicked magical artifacts. Later, the Malfoys and the Weasleys have a furious quarrel inside of the bookshop. Harry and Ron discover that they are unable to get past the magical barrier that is blocking their path to the train station on the day that they are scheduled to return to Hogwarts, and they make the decision to fly the automobile instead. When they arrive at Hogwarts, they have an accident in which they crash their automobile into a magical tree. The tree's branches attack both them and the car, and Ron's wand is damaged, and they are given detention. The new term starts. Herbology, transfiguration, potions, and defense against the dark arts are some of the subjects that Harry, Ron, and their friend Hermione Granger study. The latter is taught by Gilderoy Lockhart, a newcomer who is a star novelist and is attractive but not very knowledgeable. Quidditch is another activity that Harry participates in and practices, and it is played on flying broomsticks. During one of the matches, Harry sustains an injury as a result of a faulty ball. Dobby pays Harry a visit later that night and admits to him that he was the one who prevented Harry from getting the train and was the one who induced the Quidditch injury so that he could keep Harry away from an unidentified threat. One day, Harry is the only person who seems to be able to hear a disembodied voice that threatens to kill someone. A short time later, on Halloween, he is confronted by the voice once again. After following it, he discovers the caretaker's cat lying dead next to a note that states the Chamber of Secrets has been unlocked. There is a story that Salazar Slytherin, one of the founders of the school, concealed a chamber in the school that contained a monster that would rid the school of kids born to non magical parents. Slytherin and his followers, notably the Malfoys, have a strong prejudice against non-magical people. Over the following several months, there are many assaults that are quite identical to one another, as the victims are rendered immobile but are not killed. It turns out that Harry, Ron, and Hermione's scheme to determine whether or not Draco is responsible for the assaults, but he's not. As word spreads among the students that Harry has the unique capacity to communicate with reptiles, many of them begin to assume that he belongs in Slytherin, but after Hermione is assaulted, they have little reason to suspect him anymore. One day, Harry discovers a journal written in Tom Riddle's handwriting in a lavatory for ladies that has been locked and is out of commission. Riddle's recollection, as it existed at the time, is captured in the journal. He was a student at Hogwarts 50 years before, at the same time period as the Chamber of Secrets was opened. At that time, Harry's friend Hagrid, 
who also served as the gamekeeper at Hogwarts, was taken into custody as a result of a tip from Riddle. This time, Hagrid is once again taken into custody, but before he goes, he gives Ron and Harry instructions on how to enter the Forbidden Forest near Hogwarts Castle, and to follow the spiders. They discover that the enormous spider that Hagrid bred and grew in the castle half a century ago and which is now residing in the woodland was not the one responsible for the assaults. Riddle's journal is seized from Harry, and a second note arrives, stating that Ginny, Ron's sister, has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. By piecing together evidence, Harry and Ron are able to locate their way to the Chamber of Secrets via the toilet where they discovered the diary. Unfortunately, they have to take Lockhart with them, even though he has been exposed as a phony. When Lockhart attempts to erase Harry and Ron's memory, the spell backfires, rendering Lockhart powerless, and a portion of the subterranean tunnel collapses, isolating Harry and Ron from Lockhart. As the story continues, Harry discovers that Riddle is stealing Guinea's life in order to free himself from the confines of the journal. Harry finds out that Riddle was the one who opened the Chamber of Secrets and that he eventually became Voldemort. Throughout the course of the year, he maintained control of Ginny and made use of her to coordinate the assaults that were carried out by a large serpent known as a basilisk, which can be fatal just by fixing its gaze on its prey. On the other hand, nobody was killed since they were only able to get a distant glimpse of the basilisk by using lenses, reflections, or even ghosts. Harry Potter is able to triumph against Riddle and the Basilisk with the assistance of a magical bird and the Sorting Hat, a sentient hat that places pupils in their respective houses. After that, Harry finds out that Lucius Malfoy hid the diary in Guinea's possessions during the quarrel at the bookstore and that the Malfoys own Dobby. After assisting in Dobby's release, he rejoices at the subsequent healing of Hermione and the other victims. The headmaster, Dumbledore, is the one who presents Harry and Ron with unique honors. As the semester draws to a close, Harry boards the train that will take him back to London. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.